What's up, YouTube? Y'all doing good? You good? You good? I'm good. You good? Okay, good. All right, so today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Today I'm going to show y'all my cologne collection. Well, my fragrance collection. I think that sounds better. My fragrance collection. I just think that make it makes it feel more fancy. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I love watching these type of videos. Um, I've become, like, addicted to watching them. I like to watch the men's videos and the women's videos. I think when I watch the women's ones, it gives me ideas of, like, like what a lot of women, um, women like. And it gives me ideas of what to get. Um, women in my life. So, uh, yeah, um, like I said, I'm addicted to watch these videos and I figured I would show y'all my collection. Now, I don't have much, um, but I, I have a little something something. I'm working with a little something something. I've always liked to wear colognes and stuff like that. I think that I was, I've been wearing colognes since I was like maybe fourth or fifth grade. Um, but even then, even though I was young, I wasn't allowed to put it on myself. Um, my mama would always put it on for me because she was afraid that I would put too much of it on, which is understandable. So, um, like I said, I've always had a nice little selection of them. It was up until around 2015. I realized that my my selection at that time had uh, kind of gotten a little low. So that's when I started uh, building me up. I think I got down to like maybe four clones that I was using, in, using back then. So uh, since then, I've rebuilt my collection. And uh, yeah, I'm about to show it to y'all. So hopefully, um, I'm going to try to keep this video as short as possible. But if you watch my videos before, you know, I, I get sidetracked or I just I'm long-winded and uh, I, I can talk a lot so I'm gonna try to keep this video relatively short and uh, let's go ahead let's get into it so um now this is this is actually my third time filming this video um, the first time lighting wasn't right second time I had problems with my audio and then I just spent 30 minutes trying to fix my blue Yeti microphone which I guess the um, USB cord is mixed up so I have to get a new one so uh, yeah we're gonna be using the audio from my camera Actually, no, I'm gonna I'm recording audio on my phone. See what I'm talking about? See how I got sidetracked? That ain't got nothing to do with what we're trying to do right here. So let's go ahead, let's get into, started with this video. I have um, a, quite a few samples, so what I'm gonna do is after I show you all my big bottles, I'll run through really quickly and um, tell y'all about my samples. Now, I don't know anything about notes and nothing like that. I could, I don't know the first thing. I can't tell you it smells like patchouli or there's bergamot in this or whatever. The only thing I do is tell you what it smells like to me. Um, I don't know nothing about notes. So, um, I, like, so for that reason, I can't and I won't be telling y'all what's in it. And I'll just try to describe it really quickly about what I think it smells like. So these, I think these are the first two clones that I've ever gotten. Um, it's these two right here. These are the, um, these are, uh, cologne oils. And uh, they they um they're impressions of colognes. I used to always go to Fred's and stuff like that with my mama, and I would head like straight to the cologne section and see what they had. And um, I, the I think I do believe these came from Fred's. But y'all know a lot of the uh, like uh, gas stations they sell like cologne. What they used to um, sell like cologne oils and stuff like that. So this is these are both by a company called Q Pour Lou, Q Pour Lee, L U I. I I guess that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. Um, this one is. This the first one I have right here. This is Obsession for Men. This is an impression of um, Obsession by Calvin Klein. Now I never really liked this one. It just it doesn't really do anything for me. Um, and I've never smelled like the real Obsession by Calvin Klein. But from what I've heard, um, it's not that great either. So I can't tell you if it smells close to it or not. Um, I never liked wearing it. I just wore it because I had it. Um, the only reason I still there's still some in here, and you can tell I've had it a long time. I don't. I wouldn't say that it's gone bad, but. It definitely wasn't that color. It wasn't that dark when I got it. So I've had it for a while. And, um, but I think one of the reasons that I keep, uh, this is because it does remind me when I was younger. Like I said, I've been wearing cologne since I was in, like, maybe fifth grade. So maybe, like, eight, nine, ten years old, somewhere around in there. So this is, uh, an impression of, um, um, Obsession by Calvin Klein. The other one that I have here, I love this one right now. This one really doesn't have anything in it. It has maybe about, I can get about maybe one or two uses out of this. This is um, an impression of Tommy by Tommy Hilfiger. And this one, it smells really good. I used to wear this all the time. I used to always ask my mom to put it on for me. I love this. And um, it wasn't until last year I actually smelled the real Tommy by Tommy Hilfiger. I think they had like a sample of it in Walmart. And this smells almost exactly like this. So they did really good on this one. And like I said, these two, these are uh, cologne oil. So they do last a little bit longer. Um, to me, they're a little bit more concentrated, and they last a little bit longer than your traditional cologne spray would. So that's those two. Next two I'm going to show you, I believe I had these. Um, I got these shortly after I got um, those that I just showed y'all. The first one I want to show you, this is called Wild Country. This is by Avon. Uh, my mama bought this for me. She used to be really into buying Avon and stuff like that. This one, I don't really wear it that much now. Um, I don't wear the other ones either. But um, it just it, it doesn't smell bad. It's just not something I reach for anymore. This is something like in the fragrance community. This is what they would call a barbershop fragrance. Because um, it smells like that powder that they use in the, bar in the barbershop. Um, it smells really good. It's just something that I don't, 
I don't reach for anymore. And that's one of the reasons. And then another one of the reasons is, I don't know if y'all can tell this, but it sprays out in like blotches. I don't know if y'all can tell that. And, um, but I'm pretty sure with all the clones I have now, I probably can take the top off one of those if I wanted to wear this and just put it on top of this and go on it. Um, they actually, this has been out for a long time. Um, but actually, they still do sell this on the um, Avon website. So you can find this on the Avon website. And pretty much a lot of other places have it too. So that's Wild Country by Avon. Alright, the next one, this is by Avon too. This one is called Wild Country Outback. Now, I love this one right here. I love this cologne right here. Um, this one, it smells very, like, masculine. Um, I don't like I told you, I can't describe it. But it, it's very masculine and... I wouldn't say mature, but I feel like anybody can wear this. So, like I said, I was wearing this back in the fifth grade. So, um, I love this stuff. This is discontinued. They no longer sell this anymore. Which, that kind of makes me mad because I like this one. I really know. I really want to know why. No, I want an explanation from Avon as to why they discontinued this, but they kept this one. I mean, I, you know, I'm probably, maybe this one did sell more than the other one did. But if I were to choose one of the two, I would always choose this one over this one. Because this is just very, um, this one is different. And I feel like this smells like this. You can find something else on the market. But this one um, is discontinued, which is why I don't wear it that long, that uh, much anymore. Um, but I did find somewhere on the internet that who, sold, uh, who had some for sale. Because I only have about, I only have that little bit left right there. So I only wear it every now and then. Um... Because I don't want to use it up. But like I said, I did find somebody on the internet who had some. So I'm going to buy that so I can start using this a little bit more. This, to me, it isn't like the most amazing thing anything like that. It's just, to me, it just, it's just really good. Um, it, Like I said, it's masculine. And, okay, picture this. Like, if they wanted to, if they want, this is what I see a commercial for this cologne being. Picture it. Okay, picture it. Texas, on a cold night, which I know that sounds kind of weird because Texas isn't really known they don't. From what I hear, they don't have a lot of cold weather. Anyway, picture it. Texas on a cool evening. A man in the morning, they're going to this real high, high-end, upscale, formal type uh, ball or banquet or party or whatever you want to call it. They walk in and, you know, everybody, they get all the men, they got on their tuxedos and all the women, they got on their nice dresses and stuff. But anyway, the commercial is centered around the man. So the man walks in, he had on a black blazer, a black dress shirt some black jeans and some cowboy boots and one of those what do you call the like the string ties that the cowboys wear one of those type of things you know what I'm talking about so when he walks in all the dude all the guys in the room they looking at him with a funny face because he's dressed differently from everybody else but in, he doesn't care because he knows that he's that dude and uh, the lady she's got on a very nice elegant black gown hair pulled up with pearls on and like I said everybody's giving the man the funny look because he's dressed differently but again he doesn't care because he's that man he, he he can he can pull it off so that's what I see a commercial for this being like I love this stuff and like I said I'm gonna go and buy it off the internet before it's gone this is Wild Country Outback I'm still mad at Avon because they discontinued this I do think this one I can't remember I wish I had the I wish I had the boxes to these because I, I think I think I'm, not, I'm like 90% sure this one is an old day cologne. So it really doesn't last that long. Maybe 45 minutes to an hour and this is gone. But I'm not mad about it because it just, it smells that much, that good. But I'm not sure about this one. But um, I know, I'm 95% sure this is the old day cologne. I don't know what this one is. The next one I have is called Castle Pour On White. Now this is an impression of um, Lacoste Blanc or Lacoste White or however it goes. One of those two. This one is, is fresh. Um, I get a little bit of fruitiness out of this. Look at me trying to trying to pick out the scents in this. Uh, fresh, fruity, and um, just, it, it, it's uplifting. Um, this one, um, it smells really good. It's like an everyday type scent. Um, now, I haven't smelled the Lacoste Blanc or Lacoste White, whatever. I haven't smelled that one, but I did go on the internet and I found a review on this, and somebody said that they had Lacoste Blanc, and they said this one smelled really, almost exactly the same, so that's really good. I got this as a gift. It came in a gift set with the body, with the body spray, too. Um, like I said, it smells really good, but, um, again, it doesn't last that long, uh, which, that's not a problem because, I mean, that's not anything to, uh, complain about because I've, I have tried, uh, like, maybe one or two other Lacoste fragrances, and, uh, they don't last that long either, so that's really not a deal breaker. Like, you know, I get, like, maybe two or three hours with this, so, yeah. So, this is Lacoste, I mean, Lacoste. This is, uh, Castle Pour On White. All right, the next one I have, this is, um, Nautica Aqua Rush. Um, this one. I got this as a gift too, and it came with like a shower gel. This one it smells good, but I just I really don't care for it anymore. This is like a fresh aquatic type scent. Um, yeah, I just it doesn't smell bad, but it's just not something I reach for. I've had it for about maybe three years now, 
I got a little bit left in there. Um, I'm ready to finish it off because um, it's just... I mean, like I said, it doesn't smell bad, but it smells like... I think this came out a while ago and it definitely has that... You know, I want to say like maybe the early 2000s type smell to it, if that makes sense. So, uh, yeah. Very, very basic nautical arca rush. Don't have much to say to it, but the design is kind of nice. This is called Playboy VIP. Now, um, this is a gift uh, from. This is a gift that I got from my mama. Um, it came with like uh, the. I don't, I don't know what they call them, like the crab chips, the um, chips that they have at the um, the crab tables, I believe. I don't know, um, but um, because I, I think this is whole like the whole marketing about this is like around Las Vegas or something like that. So I don't know, but this I don't wear. It, it has like a very um, fruity type sexy smell. I don't. It, you know what? I know exactly what this smells like. Have you ever? I almost, I'm almost ashamed to say this, but um, have you ever smelled lip gloss before? This gives me like that sweet type of lip gloss smell. Um, I don't. It, it smells okay, but it's not something that I would wear. So um, I just kind of keep it in my collection to have it. I, I think my mom got this for me like maybe last year or the year before. So um, yeah, that's uh, Playboy VIP. Next one I have, this is called, uh, this is VIP by Usher. Now, when I first got this, because this was like my first celebrity fragrance. I think this is the only, no, it's not. Um, this was my first celebrity fragrance, and this one, when I first got it, I was so excited because I just thought I was all that now that I have a celebrity fragrance. Because up to then, up until then, up until I got this, I only had like the impression colognes or anything about uh, Avon. So, at this time, I, that's pretty much all I had. Um, so when I got this, my mom, this is also another gift from my mom. She got this, it came with the, it came in a big box. It was a gift set with the cologne, the aftershave, and the shaving gel. This, um, it doesn't smell bad, but it's just not something that I would, um, I would, um, I don't reach for anymore. But I do, I love the packaging around this. Um, I love the, like, the little round bottle. And then this, the cap, it kind of twists on it. It doesn't smell bad. This is, for me, this is a, um, definitely like a fall, winter type smell. Um, first of all, let me go ahead and get this out the way. And throughout this video, you might hear me saying that this is for winter or fall, or and this is for spring and summer. That's just my personal opinion. Um, you can wear your colognes anytime you want to. But I'm just saying for me, like, for example, with me, I wouldn't want to wear something as heavy and as dark as Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille when it's 95 degrees outside because it gets a little cloying and, like, it's very overpowered. It will be very overpowered in the summer heat. But you can wear your clothes anytime you want to, so let me just go ahead and get that out of the way. But uh, this one, this is, uh, like, very dry, um, woodsy. Uh, yeah, that's a good adjective. Um, and I would say, I want to say, or for, for whatever reason, I want to say oriental. I don't know why, but that may not be the best word to use, but, um, yeah, um, it's okay, but I, I just, I don't really care for it anymore. So, I've used a little over half of it, and, um, yeah, it's just not something that I wear too much now. Um, so, so yeah, but I do want to try some other, uh, Ursha fragrances. I know he has one that comes in a gray bottle, and another one that comes in a, um, a black bottle. I do want to smell those and try those out. But, uh, that's VIP by Usher. The next one I have, this is another one by Avon. This is, um, Black Suede Sport. Uh, this is, yet again, another gift from a mama. She knows I like colognes. I think she got this for me last year. Um, I do appreciate her for getting it for me, but, um, this one is not a bad scent, but I just, I really don't, I don't like it. Let me not say that. I don't care for it. Um, it's a little strong to me, and it just, it has like that, um, I don't, it's just some certain something about it that I don't like. This is an aquatic fragrance, and I used to think that I was really into, like, the real aquatic blue fragrances, but, um, I'm thinking I'm two for two right now with the Nautica Aqua, for, Aqua Rush. Um, I just, I really don't care for it. Now, you might be saying, Devin, if you don't care for it, why is it already halfway gone? Because I don't like seeing stuff go to waste. So, this has become, like, my, um, get out of the shower, put some cologne on, um, before you go to bed, put some cologne on, I, which I really don't put cologne on before I go to bed, but I, I would hate this. I don't want to go to see, see this go to waste. So I would rather put, put it to some type of use. So, you know, get out the shower, put some on, put some on before I go to bed. And then I will put, the thing about it is the reason most of it is gone so much is I will put it on really thick, especially if I wasn't going anywhere and I know I wouldn't, um, offend anybody. But I did put some on one time after I got out the shower and I forgot that I needed to run to the store to get something. And so the girl, she was like, whoo, you smell really good. And, um, so it, it can get compliments, but I just, I really don't care for it. So this is Black Suede Sport by Avon. This is Gold by Jay-Z. Um, now there's actually nothing in here. I still have a bottle for whatever reason. Um, I love this stuff. 
I remember when it first came out, I think it came out around maybe 2013, somewhere around in 2012, 2013. And the first time I was introduced to it was, um, it was in a magazine. Like, they have, like, the little, uh, sheets in the magazine. And my sister, she was telling me about it, and it smelled really good. And I been, I kept saying I was gonna get it, I was gonna get it, I was gonna get it. Um, uh, finally, around Christmas time, 2015, I was in Burks. And, um, they had, like, this mini bottle. This is a, a .5 fluid ounce bottle. They had this bottle for, like, $5, and I, I got it, because I wanted it really bad. And um, I love the packaging on this. I have the lid. I think the lid is in my luggage somewhere. Um, I love the packaging on it, like the white and gold. Um, it's just it's really classy to me. And uh, I'm definitely gonna buy me another bottle of this. Um, I'm just waiting until um, it gets winter time because to me this is a another uh, like winter fall type fragrance. So um, yeah, I really can't smell too much of it. But it smells really good. It's really like um, warm and sexy. That's what I love about it. So I cannot wait till uh, around if winter time come. And I would definitely be buying me another bottle of this. So this is Gold by Jay-Z. Now the next one I have, this was given to me as a gift last Christmas. This past Christmas from my godmother. And uh, this is a, Jay, this is an impression of Gold by Jay-Z. This is a, um, it's a rollerball and it's a cologne oil. And this one, I will say this. It, to me, it doesn't smell like Gold by, by Jay-Z, but I am not mad at that at all. This is just, this is amazing right here. And one thing I like about it is, it smells, it's, it smells like Gold. And... It's very warm, and I get like a like a Nubian type. I don't know why, I, but I get like a nu Nubian type uh, smell from that. I just got some on my lips. Lord have mercy. Um, and it, it, it lasts, and it projects really well. Um, I remember I wore this to work one day, and I was putting some stuff on the shelf, and I had to go back to the back to get some more stuff to bring to the shelf. And um, when I walk back up the aisle, I can still smell it. It leaves a trail, so that's a really good thing. It's got me really good compliments. A customer complimented me while I was wearing this, and I wore it to, work, to my other job one day. And uh, one of my coworkers, she was like, David, what are you wearing? And I was like, it's gold by Jay-Z. She didn't know that it had to be an impression, and I didn't have to tell her that. But anyway, this is really good, and I'm actually going to ask her um, if she can get me another one, or if I can, she can contact me with the person that she got it from, because um, this smells really good. Like I said, I got this around Christmas time, and it, it is, again, like the, the other gold by Jay-Z, a fall, winter type, cold weather fragrance to me. And I'm going to ask her to give me another because I, as you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but um, it's already about about a fourth gone. So um, and if I'm, I've only had it since like the end of December. So, yep. So that just kind of shows you how much I've used it since then. So uh, anyway, moving on along. The next one I have, this is um, this is Red by Polo or Polo Red um, by Ralph Lauren. I love this stuff right here. Y'all, this stuff. This stuff smells so good. It's just like it's it's warm. It's um it's warm, it's spicy. I think I get a little bit of fruit in there, like maybe a citrus. It smells really good. The only thing I do not like about this is it doesn't last that long on me and it doesn't project like I would want it to. Like I'll get maybe maybe about an hour and a half and then um it'll still stay on after the hour and a half, it'll still stay on on my skin for about another hour and a half, but after that it's gone. And then it just doesn't bounce off my skin. It doesn't leave a trail like I would want it to. Now, I know that they have an intense version of this, so um, if you have the intense version or if you've smelled it, um, I do want to check that one out, so just let me know if you've had it or if you've smelled it. Let me know if um, if that fixes the projection and the longevity problems, because I do want to try that one out. But I know a lot of times with these intense colognes, um, a lot of times there are an actual intense, more bold uh version of the original but then sometimes the intense version of cologne it smells like a completely different cologne so let me know in the comments if you have if you have the intense version uh let me know how it is as far as longevity and prediction projection so uh, this is polar red and actually i got this i knew it was a mini bottle however i didn't know it was a splash bottle i hate i hate splash bottles um but luckily i had a um a sample that was sent to me which that's how i found out about the fragrance um, a sample of it was sent to me in the um, in the mail, and once I finished off the sample, I kept the little vial, the spray vial, and so now um, after I got this, all I have to do is just pour it into the vial, and I can spray it out like that. The next one I have, this one is uh, this is called this is Tommy Bahama. I think it's Saint Martinique. It's not on the bottle, but I believe it's the name of it, Saint Martinique. I got this off of eBay for like three dollars. This one, um, this smells really good. Um, to me, it kind of has like a, a alcoholic type. Like a like a, a mixed drink type vibe too. It's very fresh, and um, I actually wore this when I went to um, Florida last week, and I wore it right before I, I was on the beach because this is definitely like it reminds you of the beach. Uh, you know, you sit next to the beach with some kind of alcoholic beverage in your hand, just enjoying life. The wind is blowing, all that. So um, it smells really good, and I love the packaging, like this gold 
top in like this dark green um bottle. I love that. Um, I think this is an Ode Cologne. Let me see. It is. It's an Ode Cologne, so it doesn't last long. That's the only thing I don't like about this. Like maybe 45 minutes to an hour, and this is gone. So that's the only bad thing about this. But um, I do want to try some more of uh, Tommy Bahama stuff. Um, actually, I have a fragrance coming this month from Tommy, Tommy Bahama, I believe. Yes. Um, through Scentbird. So, um, yeah, that's that's pretty much all I have to say about this one. Uh, it doesn't last long, but it smells really good. So if you are going to have... Well, I guess this is a good thing to have the small bottle. So if it does start to wear off, I can keep this in my pocket and I can just... Sh -sh -sh. But I, I don't like walking around with clones like this. So that's... That's a... Uh, um, that's unfortunate. Anyway, moving on. This, I probably should have put this with my samples, but this is called Gilded. This is also an impression of um, Gold by Jay-Z. Um, this one, I did not buy this. Um, this was... Um, I came home one day and somebody, they... Um, they actually left this on the door, and they left, um, and it came with a little shower gel, and they also left, they left a perfume from my mama. So, um, shout out to whoever brought this to us. Um, this one, I don't, you know, this one is one of those type of clothes, like, you smell it one day, it smells like someone smell it the next day, and it smells different. Um, this one, like, so, the other day when I smelled it, it smelled, to, the other day, this one smelled more like, it didn't smell like gold by Jizzy, but it smelled more like gold than this one did. So, um, I don't know what that's about. But anyway, it doesn't smell bad. Um, it's, it's okay. Um, like, again, shout out to whoever left this on our door. Uh, you're much appreciated. All right, this next one, y'all, I love this stuff. This is Arrows by Versace. Um, I was introduced to this stuff last year. I, I bought a sample of it. And as soon as I got the sample, I fell in love with this stuff. I bought this bottle shortly after trying the sample. And uh, this is the one ounce bottle, which it goes between $28 and $32, depending on where you go. Um, and I got a really good deal on mine. Um, I found I got mine off of Groupon.com, and it was on sale for $25.99. Plus, they had a deal where if you, um, $10 off your first Groupon, which I already had a Groupon account. But um, I opened up another account with uh, one of my other email addresses so I can get the $10 off. And uh, so I got mine for $15.99. So that was a really good deal on it. And this stuff is... Oh, let me see. This is... It's sweet. It's bold. It's sweet. Um, I get a little bit of um, maybe a vanilla in there. Some mint. I don't know. It, it, it just it smells really good. And I love the packaging. This dark blue. The gold cap. All of that. This is just... This is one of my favorites right here, and I know a lot of people say that this is more appropriate for, like, uh, going to the club and stuff like that. Um, a lot of people say it's not appropriate for, like, wearing to work, especially especially if you work, like, a an office-type job. Now, I work an office-type job. One of my jobs is. And I wear this stuff all the time. And what I will say is, you can wear it to an office-type job. However, do not be easy with the trigger. Don't go crazy with this stuff. Um, two to three times. Um, maybe two, uh, two to three times. Two or three sprays, and that's it. Don't do no more than that. Um, I wore this to work one day. The first time I wore the work, um, my manager was leaving me in. She was like, hmm, didn't what you got on? And then from that, like, all the other females in the, um, well, not just females, but males, too. Um, they were compliment, complimenting me on it. Um, it's just really good. Um, people kept asking me what I had on, and it just, they, they, they all loved it. So, this is Arrows by Versace. And, uh, just to let you know how much I love it, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I bought this last, like, last June or July, so I've had it about a year now, and it's already halfway gone. So, that just lets you know how much I love it. And so, I can't, I will definitely be buying another, uh, bottle of this as soon as I run out of this. And plus, this is just, the bottle is beautiful. It has, like, this rigid design on it, the Medusa on the front and on the top. Can't beat it. Arrows by Versace. Love it. Next one I have. Um, this is my third time buying this. This is my third bottle. Well, technically not my third bottle. Um, this is Villain by Ed Hardy. Now, I, I love this stuff. Um, like I said, this is my third bottle of it. Technically not my, my third really bottle of it. But anyway, um, I was introduced to this because I received a gift card for Christmas uh, from one of my cousins to Goodies. And uh, Goodies is like a... Um, like if you, it's kind of like a Macy's or a Belk, one of those type of stores. And I would use the gift card that she gave me, and I went in there and they had like the Ed Hardy, I had an Ed Hardy gift set, like the mini bottles. Um, actually, over right here. Um, so it came with four mini bottles of the Ed Hardy fragrances. So here's my mini bottle that I had, the first one I had. And I know a lot of people had that one, uh, Love and Luck, uh, I think Hearts and Daggers, and um, is this Hearts and Daggers? I think it's called Hearts and Daggers. I don't know. And then it had another one that was in the gray bottle. I don't remember the name of that one. But I know a lot of people, they talk about the Ed Hardy men's purposes. And they say everybody, everybody talks about love is luck. I think that's the name of it. The one that come, the one that's like in the blue theme or whatever. 
Um, everybody always talk about how that's like the most talked about, the most popular one. I know a lot of people say that one is their favorite, that one smells best. I beg your pardon. Villain by Ed Hardy is where it's at. This stuff is like, now I can't tell you any type of notes, but this is one of those type of colognes. It is, um, it, like, I can't pick it apart. Like, I can't tell you anything in here. I can't tell you what it smells like. When I first got it, I used to think it had a little bit of citrus in it, but now that's not the case. I don't know what I was thinking, but... It's, it's it's sweet. It has like a certain warmth to it, warmth to it, and um, this is one of, you can wear this any time of year. That was really good. Like I said, this is the uh, my third bottle. This is a two point five ounce, and then I had the mini bottle. That's the first one I got. Then I bought a one ounce bottle from um, Walmart for twenty eight dollars, which I'm mad about that. And that was the clearance price. I'm mad because I could have went on the internet and got it somewhere cheaper, and um, but I didn't. And like I said, twenty eight dollars, and that was the clearance price on it because they got rid of it. But um. But when I got this, I just, I thought I was all high and mighty. Because this is, this was like, I believe, I want to say this is my first designer fragrance that I ever got. No, that's a lie. The first one I ever got was given to me by the same cousin that got me a gift card to introduce me to this. And it was, um, it was a Calvin Klein, it was Calvin Klein Escape. Which I used to have that, but I ran out of it recently. And I love this stuff, I gotta get me some more of that. I don't wear this as often as I used to, but, um, I need to get, really get back into wearing it. Because I do love this stuff. But it's just not something I reach to, reach for that much. But this is Villain by Ed Hardy. Love this stuff. And I love the packaging on this. Like, it's got, what is that, a snake on the top of it? The ridge on the, it, amazing. And that's probably why I still have my first bottle, my second bottle. And when I finish this off, I'm going to keep this. I just love the design and everything about this one. Next up, this is another Versace. Um, this is Versace Man O Fresh. Fresh. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Fresh. Um... I believe Old Fresh stands for fresh water. So, I can kind of get that wide. This is definitely like a spring, summer type cologne. Um, very fresh, citrusy. Um, I wanted to wear this when I went to the beach when I went to Florida last week. But I didn't have anything to put it in. And I didn't want to take the whole bottle. But I really, really wish I would have done that. Because this it's, it smells like you on the beach. You, um, you're in the water. It just, it just smells like that beachy, fresh like summertime smell so um i really wish i did that but this smells it smells good i remember when i first got it um i didn't like it well, wait a minute let me not say i didn't like it i liked it but i just wanted to know it wasn't it didn't live up to the expectations that i had for it um and i still this is not something it's not it's not my favorite cologne but i do love it i i, I do love it um i think it has this has star fruit in it i believe it, it just, it's, it smells really good. To me, this is more like you uh, get out of the shower, you just want to put some on. And I do, I love the packaging, like this blue. I love anything blue, um, if you, you can probably tell. But anyway, um, I love the ridges on the side. Like this right here, it looks, I think this, this is what they were trying to do. I wouldn't say that I would do this, but it looks like you want to drink it. And the name, I think the Old Fresh stands for, or Old Fresh, because it's spelled F. Or A I C H E. I think that stands for fresh water. So I think that's what they were going for with this. It looks like you want to drink. It just makes you want to drink it. Not saying that I'm drink cologne. I'm just saying it looks delicious. So um, yeah, this is it. Um, yeah, summer springtime right here. Really good. Okay, the next one I have. This is Jimmy Choo Man Intense. Now, if you watched my um, I did a my perfume samples review, and if you watched that video, I do believe this was in that video. Um. That's how I found about it through my perfume samples. If you watched that video, I said that it reminds me of uh, Silver Mountain Water by Creed. Now, I was I think I was a little premature in saying that. I think the really re the reason I said that was because I had I was smelling a lot of different colognes, and maybe they started running together. It does it definitely has a little bit of Creed DNA, and there it just um it just but this one this is it smells like sweet, um sexy, um a little bit of masculinity in there. Um, kind of has, it kind of reminds me of some kind of candy, um, but it, it's definitely mature, um, it smells amazing, I don't have the, um, I don't have the regular Jimmy Choo Man, actually I wasn't even supposed to, um, when I first tried out Jimmy Choo Man, I was trying, I was, I meant to get Jimmy Choo Man, but I added Jimmy Choo Man Intense to my car when I was on MyPerfumeSamples.com, so, if you have the, the regular Jimmy Choo Man, let me know if that smell, if you, well, if you've smelled both of them, let me know how close they smell to each other. Alrighty, we are down to my last three bottles. Next one I have up, this is definitely the hands down the most expensive cologne that I have in my collection. Um, I love this stuff. Um, this brand, they're very well known, been out for a long time. I'm pretty sure you've probably heard of this brand, probably not. Um, I got this about two or three months ago. It was definitely an investment. But I, I love the cologne, so I bought it. So, uh, this is a uh, Creed Silver Mountain Water right here. I love... Mm, I love this stuff right here. 
um, I got mine from Neiman Marcus, and at the time, they were having, like, a sale, um, where if you buy $200 worth of beauty or fragrance stuff, you get $50 off. So, this was $195, $195. Um, I know that's crazy. A lot of people go have something to say about that. I know when I tell people how much it costs, they look at me crazy, but I do what I want to with my money. You do what you want to with yours. Um, it's, it's an investment. I love it, so I bought it. Um, this was $195, so I had to, I was on Neiman Marcus, this real fancy, like, upscale store. Um, I was on their website trying to find something for at least $5 or more to make out the $200 so I can get the discount on it. One thing I am mad about, though, is I could have put, and I don't know why I did this, but I could have put another, like, $20-something dollars with it, and I could have gotten the big 4-ounce bottle from, uh, phrasenet.com. I still don't know why I did that, because... It makes me mad, but anyway, I just, I, I, I don't know why I just didn't put the extra money with it and get the big four ounce bottle. Um, like I said, I've had it about, for about two or three months, and I really need to slow down on how I've been using it. Um, I didn't think I was going to get, because this is a small bottle, this is only a one ounce bottle. Um, because as you can see, I don't know if you can tell, my camera's probably not focused on it. Um, I've probably, I've already used up about a third of it. Um. This is the first and the only Creed fragrance that I smelled. I know a lot of people, they talk about how good their colognes are. Um, but this is the only one I smelled. I love this stuff. And I think they said that this is actually unisex. So I can definitely see this being a, like a woman wearing this. I mean, a lot of people, they talk about how it has like an inky type smell to it. I can get that. And um, this stuff, it, it smells so good. And they gave it the right name, Silver Mountain Water. Because when I wear this, when I smell it, it just, it reminds me like I'm, I'm out hiking, which... That's completely false right there because I probably would never go hiking. But I'm out on a silver mountain. It's very rainy. Well, not it's misty rainy, like a little bit of a mist. I know I sound crazy. A little bit of a mist. It's very foggy and muggy outside. And there's like water running down, like a trench of water running down the side of the mountain. This is like, they. this is perfect. This describes it perfectly. And um, I know this, their colognes are really expensive, but I think they use... Like, the way they make it is why it's so expensive, and they use a lot of, like, really high-quality ingredients. So, um, I love this stuff. And, like, I, the only thing I don't like about this is the samples that I had, they lasted a whole, they lasted a lot longer than this did. Um, like, I can work an eight-hour day, and I can still smell it real good on my skin. With this, I can smell it on my skin, but it's not as, as strong, it's not as potent as the, um, samples that I had. But that's the kind, that's the thing with colognes, though. They have different batches, so all of them aren't the same, but... This stuff, I love it. And it, this stuff will stay on your clothes. I'm in my spray, I sprayed it on my on one of my brick outfits. And I took the shirt off and I because I have this thing on my door where I hang up my outfits. And like for two or three days after, like two days after I wore that outfit, I kept smelling the cologne in the air. And I know I didn't spray it. And I was wondering where it was coming from. And I finally nailed it down to um it was the cologne coming off my shirt. So this stuff it lasts. Um, I know it's very expensive, but um, it, this stuff is definitely worth the um, investment. It's definitely worth what I paid for it. But like I said, I need to slow up using it because it'll probably be a while before I can buy another bottle. But it was definitely a, an investment. I love it, and I can't wait to um, I can't wait to uh, try some of the other Creed fragrances. I definitely want to try Aventus, Millicent Imperial. I believe that's how you pronounce it. And I gotta try Green Hour Street, and I wanna try Virgin Island Water. But this stuff, I love it. it gives me lots and lots and lots of compliments. Uh, I wore it one day, one of my co-workers, she was like, Damn, it's like a breath of fresh air. And then I walked, because I was working in the back by myself one day, and my uh, one of my co-workers was like, you guys smell good back here, Devin. I just love it. Anytime I wear this, I get compliments on it. So um, I love this stuff, and uh, I've rambled on about it enough, so let's move on to the next two. And so this next cologne, I hope, let me not let y'all see it yet. This next one, um, I'm pretty sure everybody has heard about it, everybody knows about it. Um, some people love it, some people can't stand it. Um... Pretty much almost every, you can pretty, pretty much every video I've watched, every male uh, fragrance collection video I've watched has had this in it. And I finally bought me a sample of it last year. I loved it. And uh, you can probably get you, you can probably already know what I'm about to say. Um, a lot of y'all, a lot of you fragrance enthusiasts probably already know what I'm about to say. So, matter of fact, pause the video and leave your comment down below if you think of what it is. Don't cheat. Without further ado, the clone is Sauvage by Dior. You, you knew it was already coming. This stuff... I love this stuff, and one thing I like about it is, on me, it lasts all day. And it's one of those type of clones where you put it on, and then after a while, you stop smelling it, but everybody else around you, they can still smell it, and it's very, it's very present. Another thing I like about this is, this stuff, at least on me, it projects really well. Um, I remember the first time I wore this out amongst public, 
I wore it to work, and a customer came up to me. She was like, oh, my God, you smell good. I smelled you all the way over there. And at first, I got a little scared because I thought I put it on too thick. But this, it just, at least me, it just projects that way. Um, it leaves a trail, and it just, it just it bounces off your skin, at least with me. And I've gotten so many compliments about this stuff. Um, people tell me, yeah, it's really different, and it is different. I just love it because it, this stuff, it doesn't. It doesn't smell like anything else. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of times we get clones, you can say, Oh, this smells like this or it smells like that. This I haven't smelled at least I haven't smelled anything else that smells like this. It's just it's very I don't know, I was watching a review. I think it was Tiff Benson's review and she said it kinda had it smells like it has like gasoline vapors in it. And I can kinda get why she said that. It does it has a certain something in it that just Mm -hmm. And the first time I smelled this, I got like a blueberry feel, a blueberry type smell. I don't know why I got that from. I don't smell that anymore. But, yeah, I love this stuff right here. This is Sauvage by Dior. All right, y'all, I got to hurry up and finish this. My camera keeps getting an attitude with me. It keeps overheating, so we got to speed this up. Um, this next cologne that I have, uh, it gets compared to the last one I just showed y'all a lot. Not so much because of the smell, because they smell completely different. But as far as, like, they're both designer brands, and they both have, like, the same theme going on with the blue and the black. And I own a lot of my fragrance enthusiasts out there. Y'all already know what I'm about to say. So, um, without further ado, this is Blue de Chanel by Chanel. This stuff, it smells so good. And I thought, I, I, I bought Sauvage first. And when I ordered, I ordered me a sample of this. And I just thought that I was going to love Sauvage more than like this. Which, initially, I did. But now that I've, I've worn it more and worn it more, I just kept wearing the sample that I have. And I fell in love with this. And now, I like this. I'm almost ashamed to say it. I don't know why. But uh, I hate to say it. I don't know why I hate to say it, but I love this more than I love um, Sauvage. Like, I find myself wearing this a lot more than Sauvage. Um, this is, it's, it's woodsy, um, kind of dry uh, blue, if that makes sense. Um, this is masculine. Like, this is the type of thing, it, it's fun. Um, it, this is the type of stuff you want to wear. You can wear this, like, number one, it's an all-time fragrance, just like Sauvage. You can wear it any time of year. And I just feel like, even this is an all-time, all-year fragrance too, but I feel like this, this and Sauvage, even though I feel like you wear them any time of year, um, I think they would work better in the winter time, but you can wear them any time. This is the Eau de Toilette version. Um, I do plan on getting the uh, Eau de Parfum version, because uh, I know that lasts a lot longer. I like to wear both of these together, so um, they work really well together to me. Alright, y'all, that's it for all my full bottles. So really quick, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to run through my, um, my samples really quick. Um, I keep them, well, I keep most of them. In this plastic bowl right here. I think this is a, um, I don't know what I get this, like Taco Bell or something? I don't know. It's, it's really fancy, right? So, um, I'm just going to go through these really quickly. Um, the first one I have right here, this is, I didn't buy this one. This one came with, um, uh, uh this came as like a, a free gift with, um, my perfume samples or order that I bought. This is James Bond 007 Ocean Royale. This smells like, to me, a little bit, it smells a little bit like Dreamer by Versace, but this is a more fresher version of that. Dracar, Dracar Essence by Guy LaRoe, I believe that's how you pronounce it. LaRoe or something like that. I don't know. Um, this one, it smells pretty nice. I know this came out a while ago. Um, it smells pretty good. I do like this better than I like the 007. Um, I didn't buy this one either. This is another free gift. Um, it smells okay, but it's just been, it's definitely not something that I would buy for myself. This is Gentleman Only by Givenchy. Um, I love this stuff. This is probably going to be my next full bottle purchase right here. This is, it's very classy. I like formal classy. Um, a classic man. Just, this is the, it's very, I don't know, it kind of has like a linen smell to it. Like a powdery linen smell. I don't know if that's what I really want to say. I actually really don't have much in here. But I just love this stuff. This is Amen, Old, Amen Urban by Terry McGlair. Um, I do not like this. Um, it, this smells like chocolate coffee. And syrup, I don't, um, I know a lot of people talk about this, a lot of people love this, I personally do not like it. Um, I don't want to smell like coffee, syrup, or, um, chocolate. I can see why men would wear something like this, because, you know, a woman might be thinking, ooh, he smells yummy. Um, I can see that, but I don't want to smell like chocolate, uh, coffee, or anything like that. I didn't buy this one either, um, it came as a gift with another purchase that I made. Lamal by John Paul Gaultier, Gaultier, however you pronounce it. Um, this is one that I heard a lot of people talking about it, um, so I wanted to try it out, and, um, I do not like it. It's um, it has that it has a '90s vibe to it, which again, there's nothing wrong with that. But I just don't. I, it, and it's just not that. It has like a powdery, minty type smell to it, and I just I really don't care for it. I know a lot of people love this stuff, but it is just not for me. I do not like it at all. This is Dreamer by Versace. Um, this stuff it takes a a special type of man to wear to be able to pull this off. Um, and that man is just not me. Um, and it's for that reason that I do not. 
I do not like it as a cologne. It, this cologne, it has a very like calming factor to it. So for that reason, I do want to buy me a small bottle of it and use it to spray on my bed, which that's actually where, because this is almost, this is pretty much empty right here. That's what I use it for after I got it. I'll spray it on my bed before I go to sleep. I know that may sound crazy, but it definitely has like a calming effect to it, but I just wouldn't wear it as a cologne. Not for me. I can't pull it off like that. It's, um, One Million by Paco Rabanne. I love this stuff after it dries down or after it's been on me for about 15, 20 minutes. Um, when I first, one thing I don't like about it is it smells like bubble gum when you first spray it out. That's the only thing I do not like about this, but other than that, I love this stuff, and I'm going to buy me a full bottle of it. Alright, the next one I have, this is Nautica Voyage. Um, this stuff, I love this stuff. This Nautica really um, redeemed themselves with this one, because after Aqua Rush, I was pretty much done with uh, uh, Nautica. Um, not saying there's anything wrong with Aqua Rush, but I just really don't care for it. Um, this stuff, it smells really good. Um, like, apple fresh water. It's just very fresh. And one thing I'm surprised about this is, even this is like a fresh type fragrance, but this is like a fresh aquatic, and it lasts a lot longer than I thought it would be. I think this lasts on me like maybe four or five hours. I really wasn't expecting that. So um, I am going to buy this pretty soon. And um, one thing about this is you can get this for really cheap. You can find it for about $20. This is Lot No Week Delone by uh, Yves Saint Laurent. I remember when I first got this, I wasn't, I didn't, I don't want to say I didn't like it, but I just wasn't, um, I wasn't impressed by it because it was another one that I heard a lot of people talk about it. Um, and I had to try it for myself. Now that I've worn it, I've gotten it, and I've worn it for a while, I do like it. Um, the next one I have is Burberry London. Um, I do like this. I'm trying to figure out, because this you this is another one you can get for pretty cheap. I'm trying to decide if I want to buy a bottle of it. Um, this is definitely like Christmas. For whatever reason, like I think like the Christmas spruce. Like if you ever smelled like um any type of like spruce scented uh um uh, air freshener, I kind of get that vibe from this. And I do like it. I think I probably will eventually buy me a, a, a bottle of this. This is Aqua by Bulgari. This is one I had such high hopes for it because if you've seen the bottle of it, I love the bottle of it. Like the bottle looks like a drop of water that's been laying on a flat surface. I was really excited about it because I, I fell in love with the packaging. But this, I do not like it. This is another aquatic one. Um, I had high hopes for it, but um, it really just doesn't do anything for me. It has like a an under, like a, 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 a like a spoiled, now I want to say right, like make it like a spoiled undertone to it. And it's for that reason that I do not like it. This is Lacoste uh, Energize. This one, they gave this, they, they gave it the perfect name. Because um, when I smell this, I, it, it, it is energized. It's uh, very fresh, maybe a little bit of fruity. Um, it has like a strong vibe to it, but it doesn't last long. Um, this next one I have, this is um, called Exceptional. Because you are for men. Um, I got this as a gift. It came with my um, FragranceNet.com um, purchase that I bought. If you've ordered some for fragrance, a uh, men's cologne from uh, FragranceNet.com, I'm pretty sure you've received one of these before. Um, it, it smells okay, but I, it's not for me. So, Platinum, Eco, Platinum Ego East by Chanel. I have a couple of these. I have like three more of these. I got like a four pack off of eBay. Um, this smells really good. I'm still trying to decide if it's worthy of me buying a full bottle of it or not. Um, this is, 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 is masculine. Um, it, it has like that older type vibe, right? like maybe early 2000s, late. It had, to me, it reminds me of like something they would have like in the, in the late 90s, early 2000s, but I'm not mad at that. Like in this case, this works. Um, it's very masculine, um, very like business-like. I feel like you can wear this like with a suit and tie. Um, I always get, it like, it, it is very, very masculine. I almost get, like, a, a testosterone vibe when I spray this on me. I don't know why. I know that sounds weird, but it, it just does. Um, so, yeah, I'm still trying to, the verdict is still a lot on whether or not I want to buy a full bottle of this. This is him by Hane Marie. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, this smells really good. It's sexy, spicy, um, fall and winter type fragrance. I am definitely going to buy me a bottle of this once it gets cold again. I love this stuff. And it does, it lasts on me. So that's that's really good. That's a bonus right there. Um, next up is Hugo Boss. Um, this is Boss number six, or just Hugo Boss for men. Um, or Boss Bottle. It, it has like two or three names. Boss number six, and I think it goes by Boss Bottle too. Um, this smells a lot like him by Hane Marie. Or Hane Marie smells a lot like this because I think this came out first. Um, but they're different. And this stuff, I wasn't completely sold on it the first time I bought it. The first time I smelled it. But when this stuff dries down, it is pure vanilla bliss. I'm telling y'all. I'm definitely going to buy me a bottle of this. Um, but again, once it gets colder, because this is another fall winter type fragrance. So, it's going to be on and popping then. Um, next is Nautica Life by Nautica. This is really good, too. Um, 
I don't like it as much as I like Nautica Voyage. But it definitely smells really good. But this one, it doesn't last as long as Nautica Voyage. But it definitely smells really good. This is Dior Homme Cologne. I was trying to figure out what it smells like, and I was watching somebody's video. They had it in their collection, and they said that it smells kind of like lemonade, and I do agree with that. I, don't, I was thinking, like, maybe hand sanitizer, but lemonade works better. Um, I was really excited about this one, but I don't like it. It's not worth a full bottle purchase for me. It's time for Tobacco Vini. I got this off of eBay. Um, I was really excited about this one. Um, I haven't really worn it for real out. Um... And um, I, don't, I'm not, I don't think I really like it. Um, I didn't know that the, the tobacco note was going to be as strong as it is. Like, it definitely overpowers the um, vanilla. But um, I'm going to wait until... I can't remember my nose. I'm going to wait until it gets colder and put it out again. Even though I got this back in, like, November of last year, I believe. I'm going to wait because I just... I, I forgot about it, to be honest. But um, I'm definitely going to wait and try this out and see if I like it. But right now, I'm not completely sold on it. But um, this is Tom Ford Tobacco Vanilla. I heard a lot about it, so I had to try it. But... I didn't know the tobacco was going to be that strong. This is um, Mugler Cologne by Terry Mugler. I heard a lot of people talking about this one. Um, a lot of people say it smells like Irish Spring Soap. I can definitely get that, like that green vibe it's got going on, but to me, it doesn't smell like Irish Spring Soap. I personally don't like it. So really quickly, I'm going to go through my um, my scent bird samples that I have. The first one I have, this is um, Reflection Man by Omarwash. Um, I heard a couple things about people talking about the Amorage brand, so I want to try this, and I do not like this at all. Number one, it smells like, um, what, it smells like, uh, what is the clone, what is it, um, La Mal by John Paul Gaultier, um, but this one has a more, like, flowery, um, potpourri type smell than La Mal does. I actually keep this in my bathroom, and I use it for air freshener. <laughs> So that's the only reason that it's down this far is because I use it as air fresh in my bathroom. Now, this is Versace Dillon Blue. This is hands down the best cologne that I've received from Scentbird. Um, I love this stuff. Um, you probably it, it, you can tell that I've used a lot of it. Um, I love this stuff. It's it's blue. They named it right, Dillon Blue, because I get like a blue vibe from this. It's Gucci Gucci Pour Homme Dose or Two, however they however they however they say it. Um, this one. It's, it's fresh. It makes me seem like I'm diving in the ocean, which I'll probably never do because I can't swim. But um, it, it, it's very reminiscent of that. It's, uh, F by Ferragamo Black, or this is F Black by Sal Salvatore Ferragamo. Um, this is another one. I heard a lot of people telling me about this one. Um, well, not to me, but I heard a lot of people talking about it. Um, it was like in a lot of people's lists. They talked about very highly about it, but again, it just, it doesn't it's it doesn't do anything for me. Light Blue by Dolce & Gabbana. Another one, I've heard a lot of men, because they have a light blue for men and they have a light blue for women. I heard b great things about both of them. This one, I do like it, don't love it. Um, not worth a full bottle purchase for me, but it's okay. It's it's fresh. Gucci Guilty Black. Um, this one, it smells good. I got, actually got this one this month from St. Bert. Well, actually last month, June. Um, it smells good. Uh, very, um, very, very, it's got a little sexiness to it. Um, but I'm not sold. I'm, I'm not sold on this one either. It's not worth a full purchase for me, a full bottle purchase for me. Gray Vetiver by Tom Ford. And this is the Eau de Parfum version. Um, I had really high hopes about this one, and I was kind of let down on this one because this, to me, it smells. It has ver vetiver in it, so I, I'm thinking I don't like vetiver because I think yeah, there's vetiver in the um, Terry Mugler Mugler Cologne, so I don't like that one. Um, yeah, I don't. To me, if this is something an older man would wear, like somebody in his his early to mid sixties and um I can just see an older man wearing this in like his um diamond pattern uh sweater and with some khakis on and um maybe some boat shoes. Alright y'all that's it for my collection right there. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did give me a thumbs up. If you have any of the clones you have that I have here and you just want to let me know leave a comment down below. If you have any questions about the clones that I have or the fragrances that I have, leave a comment down below. Um, yeah, just let me know what are your favorites. Uh, if you have any of your favorite, if you have any favorite clones that you want to share, let me know that. Um, I do want to start doing more fragrance related type videos on this channel. Um, like maybe t uh, my top 10 colognes or, uh, my most couple minutes, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I do appreciate you if you've stayed along this long. I've been filming this video for over an hour and a half. It wasn't supposed to go that long. Um, I think what I'm going to do is, I'm going to come back and update this. I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to do it later on this year. I might just wait until next year until I, when I get some more colognes and uh, just update it again next year. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, again, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Also, go check out my cooking channel. I will leave a link down in the description for how to get to that. So, yeah, that's my cologne collection, and uh, I will see y'all in the next video. Thank you for watching.